Hi, in this video, I will demonstrate just how vulnerable your data and or databases are by showing you how a database gets breached. Hackers and thieves are only after one thing, and that is data of value. So protecting this data where it actually resides is of utmost importance. A couple of things about the internet. South African companies are not immune to hackers and data breaches. We just keep our mouths shut about it. These stats were gathered at a conference in America, a country with mature data protection legislation and an advanced data security industry. If this is still happening in a mature country such as America, imagine how bad the stats must be for a country like South Africa, who is in its infancy in terms of protection of personal information. So how exactly are our databases breached? Here is a production database with all our personal information in it. Did you know that data is stored as plain text within databases and can easily be extracted directly from the database files without the database even being open? If the database is stored as plain text, then obviously a database backup is also plain text. And likewise, database backups on offline storage will also be in plain text. A common practice within organizations is to copy production databases into TEST or UAT, which means sensitive data is taken from a secured environment to an unsecured environment. Anybody can access the data undetected where the database resides, where the database is backed up, and of course, where it is kept at the offline storage facility. Anybody can view sensitive data in the test UAT environment as these environments typically have no security at all and passwords are generally soft and widely known. The system administrator is the ultimate power user and is the ultimate insider threat, being able to access any data on any platform undetected. Edward Snowden is the most infamous of sysadmins to date. Database administrators and privileged users are also huge insider threats. The DBA is the ultimate database user and can access any data in the database. DBAs are also often in charge of database security and auditing, which is a serious conflict of interests. Use and abuse monitoring is a very important security component and without it, you will not be able to detect out-of-hours logins, failed logins, and brute force attempts. Or if users are using alternative tools to gain unauthorized access to a database and thereby circumventing the application security. Sensitive data access needs to be monitored as well in order to detect unusual or excessive access to the sensitive data. Data can also be extracted by unauthorized backups data dumps, and bulk extracts. DDL, DCL, and database structure should also be monitored. Access to personal information is often a requirement for certain job functions within an organization such as call center agents and other administrative type roles. It is very easy for users in these positions to simply write down on paper the sensitive information shown on their screen and this will go completely undetected. SQL injection is one of the most common and easiest methods to gain unauthorized access to a database by piggybacking on or hiding within a valid database connection. Statistics suggest that web servers are typically neglected when it comes to patching and plugging known CVEs. Do you trust your DBAs and privileged accounts? Hackers target these first for obvious reasons. Logging onto a database in any other way besides via the application will allow excessive user rights to be exploited. Known vulnerabilities are the first point of exploitation and not managing patches makes for an easy target. Most database installations are not immediately secure and have many weaknesses that need to be hardened. 
You cannot protect something you are unaware of, so unless you know where all your sensitive data resides, you won't be able to protect it. And it is very likely someone else will find it for you and exploit it. What is the solution? Encrypt your database and documents. Encrypt once, and it will be encrypted everywhere it may go. Basically, with encryption, you can hide your data in plain sight. In order to enforce segregations of duties, a centralized encryption key manager is required. Any sensitive data that resides outside a secured production environment needs to be masked. As the slide demonstrates, data copied from the production environment to the test environment has been masked so that it is now realistic data instead of real data and thereby removing any value it may have. Privileged users need to be monitored and audited to detect and prevent privilege abuse. Database firewalls need to be deployed to prevent DBAs from accessing sensitive data. This is not part of their job function and segregation of duties needs to be enforced. Database activity monitoring is required to detect and alert on privilege abuse and unauthorized data access. Inline data masking, redaction, or tokenization is required to limit legitimate access to personal information so that the information displayed is of insufficient value if written down, but enough to enable the user to perform their job. A web application firewall is the only method to secure your web-facing applications from intrusion. Web application firewalls should provide real-time threat updates as well as virtual patching. A database firewall will block any unauthorized access to sensitive data, no matter where it emanates from. Determining, mapping, and managing user access rights are the only way that excessive rights can be removed. Bear in mind that a user should only be able to access sufficient data in order to be able to perform their job function. Any additional rights are a security risk. Web application firewalls can offer virtual patch management capabilities. However, configuration management software is the only way an organization can manage software versions and patches in today's complex environments. Without this, an organization is exposed to a plethora of commonly known bugs that present easy exploitation. Regularly access software vulnerabilities, as upgrades and installations can undo previously hardened environments and or introduce new vulnerabilities with the new software versions. Regularly scan your environment for sensitive data as systems evolve over time with changes and new functionality. You need an inventory of your data in order to know what you've got, whether it is sensitive or not, and then choosing the most appropriate method of securing it. This concludes our video on database threats. Here are the references used for this article. Press pause to view in detail. For more information, please contact us via the details displayed. Thank you for watching our video.